Price here with Healthy Fit and welcome to our evening stretch. Stretching in the evening is so important to help get better sleep, which is so important to your health and wellness on so many levels, physically as well as mentally. Stretching can help relieve tension in your body so you have a more comfortable sleep. It can prepare you mentally for the sleep process and help you fall asleep more quickly. So let's go ahead and get started. Big inhale up. Exhale, opening up the chest. Pull those arms towards the back of the room, stretching out that chest. Rotate and twist. Let's do that again. Big inhale, exhale. Now you can do this in whatever you had on today. You don't have to wear special clothes for this. You can even wear your pajamas. Let's go ahead and open up our chest. We're not raising our heart rate at all here. I want you to focus on some nice deep breaths. Breathing in, expanding your lungs fully. Breathing in below your uh, belly button to your pelvic floor. Really expanding those ribs and also the chest and fully exhaling as we do our stretches. Let's move on to some SMR for our face and neck. So we've got our Rolga tools. And I'm gonna start with my small massage balls. For the face, I really like the small orange ball. If you don't have this, you can certainly use your fingers for this. We are gonna start at the temple and make small circles along the jawline releasing any tension we have in our face. Bring it back up that side and massage out the forehead. Doesn't this feel good? We're not gonna do the whole face today. If you want more, I do have some workout videos on facial exercise to release tension and create that youthful appearance in your Face, reducing fine lines and wrinkles and stimulating collagen production. Doesn't this feel amazing? So this will help relax any tension that you have in your face. All right, let's move on to the neck and shoulders. So you can continue with the larger ball here or I'm gonna use my activator. If you don't have these, for the shoulders, I like the pinching motion like this and massaging in the small circles with your fingers on the neck. If you're using this tool, the activator, I'm gonna use the bumpy handholds to kind of rock up the side of the neck and into the shoulder where we might be holding some tension of the day from working at our computer maybe from driving home was stressful in traffic today, or from that bra, especially if you have been blessed in that sense, that bra is carrying around a lot of weight and some of that ends up in your shoulders from the bra straps. Now I'm gonna take the textured side of my activator, press a quarter turn and pop off. Kind of releasing that fascia tissue that might be tense in the upper shoulders. That feels good. All right, setting those aside, moving to our neck stretches. Let's rotate left, center, right, center. Now, as you do these, I forgot to tell you, we wanna make sure we are nicely evenly positioned on both of our sits bones in the chair that our vertebrae are stacked one on top of the other, like you have a string coming from your head. Now let's look up and down, up and down, up, center, down. Look at your right shoulder, drop your head down in a semicircle to the other side. And around. And around. Good. 
come back to center. We are ready to do some additional stretches. I'm going to head back over to the mat for these. You could certainly do these with a chair or using your bed or a dresser as a support as well. Starting with our sun salutation. Give yourself some space here. Big inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Watch your head if you're too close to your chair. We don't want to knock ourselves out. Half lift. Feel that good stretch in the hamstrings. Exhale down. Allow your head to drop. Relax. This is a good place to shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Come on up. Coming into a plank on your chair. Make sure your chair is sturdy or again, you could be on any other uh, surface here. So, some sort of support for your arms. Stretch it out in a standing down dog. So we wanna feel that good stretch from our pinky all the way down to our hip bone here. You're also gonna feel it in the back of the legs. Stretching out the shoulders as well. Coming back to our plank, pressing our heels towards the floor to get that calf stretch. We're going to come down to the floor now. If you're not getting down on the floor, you could certainly do these right in the bed. <laughs> All right. Rolling down, supine on your back. Find that nice neutral spine. Extend your legs. Bring one leg to your chest and hug it in, other side, and switch, other side. We're going to hold this one, taking the leg across the midline of your body to the opposite side. You're going to extend your other arm in the opposite direction. So as you do this, you're going to feel a nice stretch in your spine. Notice I have space under my knee here. If you'd like a little bit of added support here, you can put a yoga block or a pillow if you're laying in the bed, but the knee doesn't have to touch the floor. That's not the important part. The important part is that good stretch in the shoulder that I'm feeling as well as in the spine with that gentle twist. Look back at your hand behind you and come back to center. We're going to do that on the other side. Bring the other knee to the chest once more, crossing it across the body. Other arm is extended in the opposite direction. Again, your knee does not need to touch the floor. It's not the purpose of the exercise. We're stretching out, getting a little bit of mobility in our spine, opening up our chest. All right, coming back to a standing position. Now, before we get into our next piece, I want to show you if you're not getting down on the floor, what you're going to be doing. When we go into our child's pose, you're going to have your come to a seated position here in the chair and reach down towards your toes for that stretch, allowing your head to drop. Then we'll go into an, a lunge. You can either drop your leg off the side of the chair, remain seated, or come to a standing position using the chair for support as needed. All right, here we go. Begin and hold up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, shoulders back. Exhale, drop your head down. Step back into that plank, come down to your knees. Everyone's on their knees. Unless you're in the standing position, you're planking on the back of your chair. Now we're gonna push back into that child's pose. If you're doing the standing option, you're coming to the front of your chair for a seat. Now I really want you to push back on your glutes so that they're close to your heels pressing in that direction, then reaching with the opposite side towards the front of your mat so that you get a good push-pull 
Nice deep breaths here. Fully inhale and fully exhale. One more. Come on up tall fours and step one leg forward into a kneeling lunge. Again, you have the option of dropping your leg off the chair here or coming to a standing position. We can sink into it a little bit more, getting a good stretch here. You may need a cushion if you don't have a soft surface under that knee. I'm gonna lean forward a little bit to feel that good stretch on the underside of the leg. And let's switch to the other side. Again, lots of options from your standing lunge to the lunge off the side of the chair, like so, or our kneeling option that I just demonstrated. Sink into that stretch. Let's come back to our hands and knees. I'll demonstrate a standing option in just a minute. In a neutral position, exhale, drop your belly to the floor. Look forward. Inhale, press your spine to the ceiling, rounding your back. Look down at your toes. Full exhale, full inhale. Allow your breath to dictate your movement. One more. Come back to neutral. I just realized I forgot to demonstrate the standing option. I don't want to leave you guys out. I got really into my stretching and my inhaling and exhaling. Standing option, as long as we don't have pressure on the um, knees, we want to have the pressure on the thighs rounding and arching the back through that process. Our last movement is legs up the wall. This is great for circulation, a good place to stretch out your legs and really prepare for sleep. So you could actually do this up against your headboard or the wall that your bed's against in the bed, or we can do it on the floor. So for legs up the wall, we can use our bolster to get us set up. I'd like to set my bolster up a little bit away from um, the wall for this setup. I'm going to sit on the bolster and then slowly bring my legs up the side of the wall. Now you'll notice I'm a little bit away here. That's an option or we can scoot all the way up towards the wall. A little bit deeper stretch when you're closer to the wall. My feet are flexed for maximum stretching. If that gets to be uncomfortable, you could always bend your legs here. Again, this is great for circulation, lowering blood pressure, preparation for sleep. It's also a great stretch for those hamstrings. And you can put your hands either beside you I'm going to open mine up to the outside to open up my chest. And you can either shut your eyes or gaze softly at the ceiling. Nice deep breaths. Again, if this becomes uncomfortable, you could always bend your legs here as well. Nice 
nice deep breaths. Now you can stay in this position for up to 10 minutes if you'd like, but we are going to wrap it up here. Remember that you are amazing. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Acknowledge the things that you did today in your life, the things that you've been successful at, maybe the things that you checked off your list of accomplishments for today, off your to-do list. Don't beat yourself up if there are things that you didn't finish. That's okay. Think about what you could do differently to improve upon your successes of today in the future day. Give yourself a pat on the back for making progress and for taking time for you this evening. Thank you for joining me for today's evening stretch. I'll see you next time.